computer recording. All right. And no one's actually on Zoom, so I won't leave that. So. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the August meeting for the Northampton Open Media Board of Directors. Everybody's here. We got a full house today, all in person. Wow. Um, I didn't for, think of a relation. For, for the record, Melissa is already officially out. Oh, that's, I think, um, I don't think so. I'm not officially out. It's true. All right, I take it back. Uh, <laughs> so close. Um, did uh, I forgot to think of a relational check in? Did anyone have anything fun they wanted to talk about? What if I'm just a Put a fun thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I got something for us. Because okay. I want, because I, I want, I got a presentation I'm doing on AI next week. Oh. But I have a little, you can think about it in your head. You can take like 30 seconds to do so. You have a book. You have nine eggs. You have a laptop, a bottle, and a nail. Okay. How do you stack them all together? So that's what that's what we're dealing with. It's a laptop, a book, nine right eggs. There. A book, a laptop, nine eggs, a bottle, and a nail. Are then nine eggs just like in a carton or nope. Okay. You just have the nine eggs. The bottle is empty. Well it's put any can you but put it has the a, nail? it has a bottle top cap on it. Can you put the nail in the bottle? Mm, yeah, it's there. Okay. You pull if, if this isn't a riddle either. You would open the book up and you put the eggs in the oh, book in the fold. You close the laptop, oh. the book and then, yeah. then you put the laptop on that. I, I was thinking of putting the eggs down as the base and then stacking everything uh -huh. off of it. Like distributing the weight. Yeah. Or you can put like the book here, like the laptop here, and put eggs here and a book here and open that up and put the eggs, other eggs here. And then put the bottle down. Yeah, then it's okay. easy bottle now. Yeah. You poke holes in the eggs down. You can do that too. Blow them out. This is what you do. You open the eggs. Which the eggs have to stay solid. All in the bottom. It doesn't say they have to be solid. Yeah. Crush, crush the eggs up and put them like in the bottom. What does the eye say? So it's actually amazing. I love like hearing actually everything. So the reason why why I put that is because it was an actual study that just came out that was looking at ChatGPT three, the third generation of the mm -hmm. technology, versus ChatGPT four. The third generation said it would be difficult to stack all the objects. Here's one possible way: place the bottle on a flat surface, uh, carefully balance the nail on top of the bottle, place the eggs on top of the nail, <laughs> making sure. So that's what it was saying, right? It's just because it's regurgitate, it's word regurgitation. Yeah. That's what it is: is predictive text. Chat GPT four, which just which is is now uh, we're seeing, this is how it says it: place the the book flat on a level surface, such as a, a table or floor. The book will serve as the base stack for and provide a large and sturdy support. Arrange the nine eggs in a three by three square on top of the book, leaving some space between them. They will form a second layer and distribute the weight evenly. Make sure the eggs are not cracked. Place the laptop on top of the eggs with the screen facing down and the keyboard facing up. Make sure the laptop is closed and turned off and do not press any keys button. Place the bottle on top of the laptop with the cap facing up. Place the nail on top of the cap, the bottle cap with the pointy end facing up. So it like actually oh, we're okay. in yeah, a, like a, 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 we're solving. in this new, it's like actually human reasoning, you know? Mm. It's just a wow. it's a fascinating step forward that just happened like hmm. within the last few months you know we write in our own terminators then. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know that like eggs. i just eggs. i want y'all to know that okay. we are the eggs yeah right but i mean it's fun now it's always fun in person in this screen when these interactive part is laughing then it's screaming okay. <laughs> saw some ai written foraging books on amazon that you saw a piece about like Four of them were written. They all look vaguely the same. The authors don't exist. They're just like, you know, and they have like terrible, like deadly advice. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, like eat this, you know, because it's just like the, the, <laughs> the next thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, a, uh, like this grocery store came out with like an AI thing. It was like, oh, put your ingredients in, to make different things. And people started putting like 
chlorine and like, <laughs> like bleach into the thing and it's like oh nice chlorine bleach bath bomb and then we're just like <laughs> new flowery yes. language into like yeah, yeah into like crazy deadly things <laughs> uh all right well um good relational check-in thank you jeremy um uh we have a new board member um this is our new um mayoral appointee and I'm going to make sure I can pronounce your last name correctly. Yeah. So it's Ellie here Anandani. Close. Okay. Here Anandani. Okay. Here Anandani. Break it down. Um, anything you'd like to say about yourself? Introduce yourself to the board? Um, I'm, gonna be a, I'm a student at NHS. I'm going to be a junior next year. Uh, I love making films and photography. It's been my passion since I was really young. Um. I just filmed and finished filming for um, the short film project that I'm doing with some of my friends. Uh, and that is going to be done soon, hopefully. Oh, cool. All right. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, oh, yeah, we should probably introduce ourselves. That'd be a good idea. So I'm Alex. I'm the president. Um, I've been uh, helping out with Nomstop and part of the organization since you showed up in high school all those years ago yeah. 2007 yeah that's right oh, yeah it's been a while yeah <laughs> uh, that's me uh i'm mike uh Stein. i'm a school committee member and i'm on the board here in that capacity too huh. i'm timothy lovely <laughs> um i just you know i i became a member of nine back in what like 2000 14, 13? Well, I was going to even guess longer, 13, but yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a while. Um, yeah. Um, local years, comedian, exactly. Yeah, local comedian. Um, I don't know. I'm just here. I'm just here to make the world a better place. I don't know. So we already met. I'm Florian. <laughs> I'm the treasurer here. Uh, I joined NAM now two years ago, no? Something about that. And, yeah, I'm, I'm a, a photographer, and that's how I came in contact with Nam originally. And I didn't know, like, I know El from a different route for yeah. working, but that was not the connection I made. And I ended up here. <laughs> you're Whalen, you're board equal in your transcript overlord. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> uh, so Ellie's uh, one of my students over at. Northampton High School and does while well, I watch so I know. Um, but uh, how many years have, have I been? You when know? were you shooting the Belchertown documentary? So I started as a volunteer in 2000, I want to say nine. nine or 10. Then I was an employee from 11 to 12 slash 13, maybe. And then board member from like 14 or 15 on. So a whole bunch of different capacities. 15, yeah. yeah. Cool. And I'm Al Williams, the director here. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for being part of the board. <laughs> We're glad to have you. Yeah. Uh, okay. So our next thing, and I will, I should have started me by saying this, but we have a bunch of different things. Luckily, most of them are pretty short, but yeah, there's lots of stuff, lots of stuff in the agenda for today. So uh, next thing is to figure out the date and time of the next meeting. So typically we look at the second or third Tuesday evening of the month at 6 p.m. Uh, will we be back in Holly Street by then or will we still be in high school? Okay, we'll still be in high school. Until December at least. Until December, okay. Uh, oh, so that means we'll have the annual meeting in here too. Yep. All right. Good or to somewhere else. Or, or somewhere else, yeah. Is is everything shut down in there? Like yeah. Shit, oh, I, I was... oh, and I'll speak to it too in the report. Okay. Uh -huh. And I'll speak to it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but the uh, the second Tuesday of September is the 12th. The third is the 19th. How do people feel about those two dates? Either is good. Yeah, either is yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, well, let's do the 12th then. Do we have quarterly numbers? No. No, that's that'll that's be the, in... that's the following month. So it doesn't matter if you need more time or not. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. Well, six o'clock in the high school.
that's what we're looking at. Uh, now let's look at the minutes from last time. Uh, I guess we could go over them very briefly, but we don't need to go in depth here. Uh, we had a great director's report with six great points. Uh, <laughs> and you can look over that. I realize I'm not screen sharing this, so it's not getting recorded, but whatever. Uh, we have the quarterly financial report that uh, Florian and Al provided us with. Some good numbers there. Uh, we had a great high school report. We had uh, stuff about the upcoming July workshop. Talked a little bit about fundraising, and then we adjourned. How do people feel about the minutes from last meeting? Oh, good. A motion to approve the minutes. <laughs> 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 I, I, a motion to approve the minutes. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Strategic. <laughs> All right. All those in favor of approving the minutes from July, say aye or raise your hand. Uh, All right. We have approved them. <laughs> I was like, you objected. You know, I objected. I objected. Yeah, I'm again. Sorry. Um, uh, okay. Um, and up next, we have uh, one of the things that we actually uh, designed into our agenda at the workshop, uh, which we'll go over in more detail later, um, which is the task, uh, the review, reviewing of the task document. Um, which Florian also went in there and did this fun thing for statuses that I like a lot. Uh, but right now, our tasks are the uh, scheduled fundraiser meeting with uh, the employees, which we're going to be talking about at this meeting, um, the uh, present on board recruitment, which we're going to be talking about at the next meeting, which will be September 12th. And then, oh, I didn't. I was thinking that's the year and not the, yeah. <laughs> oh, like September. 20th. Oh, yeah, I see. Like you can have a problem mm -hmm. that when you have a long task, it might go into the next year. That's why I changed it from the gotcha. spend out months to, but now I picked it up. That's the wrong. We could also use like the, we always use the numbering format with year first, then month, then date, then it's always. Mm. Then um, didn't recognize it, yeah. Like I, I wanted cool. to avoid that we put in a day. We only want need the months because we have one meeting a month. Mm. That's yeah, that's true. It's just a question of what. Well, we'll work on that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But okay. um, the document has been reformatted. Could use some more reformatting. But considering how recently it's been made, is in pretty <laughs> good shape, I think. Um, but yeah, so basically, uh the uh jeremy and i are working on something for next month florian's doing something is that going to be also in september right yeah okay um and you can close like that's like that's how it i i think it works the best if you are like we had i didn't close it but creation task list was one of the first tasks we, did, we have done this so you can set the stages to close okay. and then we basically filter out all the uh or should it be completed oh completed yeah okay. uh cool all right, so yeah, we'll be referring to that and just ongoing things, yeah. Yeah, as we as we go in the future, make things a little easier. Keep on top of everything. And Jeremy already has it open, so he fills it with new tasks coming along. <laughs> uh, okay, so up next we have our director's report from Al Williams. Um, Al, would you like to screen share it? Yeah, yeah. Did did I give you permission to screen share? You did not yet. Ah, dang. You disabled screen sharing. Dang. Oh, we're sorry. It's a little bit jumping because of the welcome part. Uh, did we set up a, an onboarding meeting? Should we put this? There was an onboarding meeting. Are you done? Oh, you're you're done. Sorry, oh. happened. Yes, yeah. what? Yes, yep. what? Still not sharing. Uh, oh yeah, no, I haven't clicked the button yet. As you can see, um, it, is that in here? I thought that was in this drop down. It's not in this drop down. I can make you the host. That'll do it. I think it's it, on the share screen. Either way. In the, in the, oh, the, is it in, in here? The drop up? Uh, multiple participants, advanced sharing options. All participants. Okay. All right. Now, can you do it?
Oh, so screen sharing. Yes. Okay. Very good. Here we are. Okay, here's the director's port for July. Oops, that's not July. <laughs> Let's change that right away. Now you know that I copy and paste the old one. <laughs> um, um, so a couple of asks actually to open up. Um, one is to see if there's any board members who'd be available to work a table for NAM at the Hot Chocolate Run. That's going to be on Sunday, December 3rd. Um, I'll make up marketing materials and talking points. Um, so we have them for talking to people about NAM and about Patreon. Um, the tabling, I'm forgetting the exact times of the tabling, but I can get that to you. It's it's early in the day um, for about two or three hours. Um, and it just so one of the reasons I'm, I'm the reasons that I'm asking is that the hot chocolate run needs to know if we want a table or a booth at the actual events. And so we need people to work the table in order to have a table. Um, you can, I can send out an email separately if you want, or if people know that they want to do it now, that's fine. Um, however you wish. Uh, I, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't be able to, so I should be able to. I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, question about it. Are we, do we provide any coverage or, or anything of like employee wise, staff wise, organizationally? Are we, are we're covering we, the hot chocolate route. We're covering. Yeah, so we'll be busy. Staff will be busy with coverage the whole day. Gotcha. Um, what is coverage? Um... Coverage is uh, we're we're it's something we've been working to kind of zazz up a little bit. Um, we want to go live. Uh, we've had remote cameras in very in a couple of different places in the city before, so we'll probably be looking to do that again. We haven't met with Hot Chocolate with Safe Passage to talk it out, but we have a production meeting that we're scheduling right now about it um and then last year we also went around and interviewed a bunch of people like the head of safe passage and um put together a piece um there's also eight uh yeah eight complimentary registrations if anyone's a runner um and wants to run <laughs> is there a way to live stream to run yeah 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 we have chess mounts for gopros and we have uh, there? your phone I don't um, know we could, if someone wants to run it and live stream the run yeah in a sense I, I would enjoy running and be able to yeah, yeah. Hey, but, but I don't need the recording <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you going have to be confident you're running <laughs> <laughs> I take it slow um, as I can take in uh, <laughs> what time did you say it was uh, I'm not sure what time I don't have times yet for the tabling okay um but I will let you know soon. I, I think this goes very well with the things we discussed also in the workshop and which came up. Yep. We should be present at those yeah. events. And yep. the, this is a huge event in the town. Yep. So the more mm -hmm. the, the, the better it is. Like I, I'm also happy to be at the table. And do you have did we take in the notes who people who said they would volunteer? So I can track that. Okay. Um or I can write them down just, separately. I put them in the so I'm gonna I'm gonna make that list. Because usually I just copy and paste your, your, your um I can I can write them here if you want. Does it make sense to put that in the task yeah, document? I, I mean, it's task. not really a task, but it is a good reminder to be like, you know, these people in December will be doing We, this we can put it as task and check in yeah. uh, uh, about chocolate run organization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, um, if it is an all day thing, we might like do shifts or something. It's two, to, possible. it's two to three hours. You can certainly do shifts. Oh, well, then no. I'll just be uh, that's that's morning. Morning. I do have a question. Yeah. You said you had eight slots. Do they have to be non members so we could reach out to people who are members so we could reach out to membership like i thought i would ask the board first and then if uh there's no one on, if we don't fill the eight we can... if i start training for it i might yes. you know, want the person yes. that's either i'm running with to... you could we could yeah we have eight we have eight slots for whoever whoever we want and it's actually nice for us to fill them because it raises money for that for safe passage right so like leaving them idle doesn't help. Um, so if you know people who you who you think would like to use them, let me know as well. Great. Um, in a similar vein, um, Arts Night Out is going to launch again in 2024 at 33 Holly Street. Maybe before that, I should talk about 33 Holly Street. And that is Holly, 33 Holly is closed down to the public for any use through, you know, they, the building is scheduled to be complete in the beginning of December and they are on track to finish it, which is amazing because um, these things are very rarely on track. And um, 
but so we have five months to be not on track. That's true. I'm not saying it's going to be on track, but they are still on track. And the water is shut down in the building, so it's not really very like. Um, I don't think we can ha have anything over there with no bathroom. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we can still go in the building. We can still go and get stuff over there, or you know, we have some stuff stored over there. We can go and grab it, but even a meeting like this wouldn't be appropriate. Either. Um, so that's the building status. Um, it's, it's looking great. Um, the place looks really cool inside. Um, it's coming along. It's going to look, it will look a lot different than it looked before. Um, in a similar vein, so Arts Night Out is starting in 2024 again. Um, Arts Night Out is on the second Friday of the month. Um, it's mostly, it's downtown Northampton, I think exclusively. And, um, People walk around to various galleries and there's cheese and wine and they look at art and there's a bunch of different activities that happen. So 33 Holly is um, also has an arts night out of celebration that they have on that on that day. In our in our first few years at Holly Street, we were part of an art rotation, a visual art rotation on the walls of the building, which meant that for four months of the year, there are three building partners, ourselves, APE and Northampton Center for the Arts. And so we all had four months broken into two month um, patterns, meaning someone had January and February, then somebody had March, April, May, June, et cetera. And whoever had those two months was responsible for finding visual artists to hang on the walls. Um, Nam, uh, if you may recall, if you were here during this time, during that time, opted out of that for um, starting, this was our last year doing that. And one of the reasons was, um, we don't have as, as intimate a connection to the visual arts community. And it was creating more work for us in a way that was getting in the way of our own work. So what we'd like to do is something that is more related to our work. And during that time, do something like focus locus screenings, which we did in the past. So we could bring people into our facility at 33 for Holly and show emerging filmmakers work and have a, have a film screening that perhaps repeats itself during the Arts Night Out events. Um, there's other ideas like we've talked about um, having a, like YouTube, like a YouTube slam where people come and they they pick some short things on YouTube that they want to show other people and people gather and just watch YouTube clips. Um, we could also do some sort of production, meaning we bring people in. There was uh, we once upon a time did a project called uh, Am I Famous Yet Project, which was where we brought people in and we had them say in various emotional uh, manners, meaning like an angry way or a frustrated way or a happy way or a surprised way, the, the sentence, am I famous yet? And then we would air these and see if anyone was recognized on the street and said, hey, I saw you on TV <laughs> saying, am I famous yet, right? <laughs> so, um, so, so something like that, something playful, where we could bring people in who are there to look at art and we could, we could have them experience NAM in a way. We could also do some training. So there's a lot of different ways we were thinking about doing Arts Night Out. It's a monthly event. And um, it would also be great if a board member would, maybe the board wants to split up some of those Friday nights. We also serve wine and cheese. Um, if we have board members serving wine, you need to be TIP certified. I'm TIP certified. So I pour wine at those events sometimes. But um, TIP certified means that you're allowed to serve alcohol. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's an online class you take. It's like two hours long. And then you have to give you a test. I'm not, yeah, I'm not reflecting on the security of those systems. <laughs> <laughs> you watch videos? I've, yeah, anyway, we can talk about that another time. It's an interesting thing. my background is from Austria. It's a little bit different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so anyway, like, um, it might be helpful to have board members there because the organizations are trying to also staff those, those areas. So that's another area where we could use, um, some board to help in 2024. Um, so, but you mean you're, you're finding this out as volunteers to work or to represent norm and both? Like both? I think both. And, and what the board, what the board member will be doing, you know, because we don't know what we're going to be doing in that space exactly, maybe the board could help with what we're doing in that space as well. But it would be nice to have a little bit of help um, for that. So, does it run for the whole year? The it months, it does. Okay. Uh, yeah, it does. I, they have it in December. They do have it in December. It runs for the whole year, correct. And the first one will be January. 
Um, we've completed the contract with the city regarding the Salvo, the Salvo House ARPA project. Um, so uh, essentially, this is just letting you know that we signed the contract, that all of our information is into the city, that the city likes our information. Again, we are um, we are the fiscal sponsor of this grant. We are not the, the grantee. Um, but because we're the fiscal sponsor, the city wanted to sign the contract with us. And so um, because we're going to be the people who are reimbursed by the grant. And so that's all complete, which I'm happy about because um, it, 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 uh, it took a little time to get, get that finished. Um, so we're ready to buy stock. Um, I'm glad we're doing that. Yeah, it's, pre it's, pretty, it's pretty exciting. Um, I think it may, you know, it may model other opportunities like that in the city as well in the future. Uh, I'd like to recommend that we join rejoin Board Source. Um, so Board Source, uh, Board Source is an is an online um, resource for boards to one get trained up on what it's like to be on a board, but also to do things like um, what's an example of a good conflict of interest policy, okay, or what's a good interest of any of the policies we have. There's lots of examples on Board Source. They also provide a free assessment tool um, that we can engage in. Um, it's about seven hundred fifty dollars for the year. But I think um, it could come out of our uh, personnel development uh, or personal <laughs> professional development budget. And um, and I think it would be very helpful to us as we move forward and relook at all of our rules and policies and go through this process. Um, it, it's it's very well regarded and um, we have budget for it. Um, I sent an email, excuse me, out to board source this week asking them about logins, whether I need to create one login for the whole board or whether people sign up through their own addresses. But if there's no objection from the board, I'd like to move forward and give that resource to the board so we have some, some examples of this stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I think the important thing is that we make it an active part. If it's not $750, yep. then we never talk about it again. Yeah. Yep. Maybe you bring it up often enough. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. the same goes for us that we, that if you have a login, we should look at it. And yeah. I think it's clear that the, the organization needs like a needs a, a you know an audit of its we've been auditing policies in the board level and I think that there's more to go and I think this would really help us just streamline that process for yeah. the boss. Okay. And this is a kind of repository for um, resources and it's not a management uh, platform, correct? It's not a management platform. Um, there is some information there to help onboard board members as well who haven't been on boards before or whatever. Um, so there's some instruction there. There's, there's resources, that, in other words, not just documents, but also for just um, processing, processing and policy. Yeah. Is there um, any sort of priority with the, the audit that's been done of like what you, you think is like the policies we should start with? Um, we've had conversations about where to begin it along the way, but we don't have a full list of what it is. Um, I think we're kind of just chipping away as we can, is what it is. Um, but I'm open to creating a priority list if that's something people want. No, I'm just thinking if we if you if we get it, which I think is a great idea. Yeah. And we say we want to try to tackle these these policies first, and then kind of work at them. Yeah. You know, in some deliberate way, we we'd probably get there. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I was doing this this. Conflict of interest policy earlier today, so it's like swimming in my oh. <laughs> Yeah, that came out because of a concrete case. Yes. Yeah. How the conversation came up. Like, yeah, I agree. Like, it's it was like last year we started working on certain things. We are working on the board policy document, which we uh, we pushed forward. Like, there's things going on. How sort of structured it is. I leave everyone else to evaluate. Like, and, and it's also what's the organization capability of the board. Yeah. I, I think that's the movement, which is good. Yeah. Um, we talked about Holly Street already. We held our first cinema in Northampton of the season. It was pretty lowly attended, uh, roughly 100 people, which isn't uh, which isn't disappointing. But um, but we're this just sort of, sort of continues the trend of seeing that that there are fewer people coming out to things in our experience um, in general. Um, the next one and the last one of the season is going to be the Super Mario Brothers movie on August 28th. If you have interest in seeing that, they're at Forbes Library. Um, you know, at peak level, we were we got the highest one we ever had was 800 people in Mainsfield at a league of their own. 
Um, and that was really wild. Um, and we were averaging about five or 600 people for a while. Uh, it's attendance has been going down gradually over the years. Um, and has just been, has not bounced back since the pandemic. Is that out on the lawn? It's on the lawn at Forbes, nice. like to the right of the building. Yeah. Do we do any, um, do we have any uh, budget for advertising? Do we, we do any campaigns? We did a bunch of Facebook ads and some Insta stuff, mm -hmm. but um, it also started a little late this time, but it hasn't been that different than what we've done in the past. Uh, our county board members go to that? Oh, which one? Cinnamon Hill Tampa? Yeah. I mean, it's next week, so I understand people are busy. I was just checking my work schedule, and shockingly, I even it's like the first week of classes, which yeah. normally is very busy for me, but I actually don't have anything that evening or the next morning. We don't so, have materials for people either, so if this one is missed, I don't know if it's the biggest deal. Sure. But, uh, well, but. I, I might be able to come. Yeah. Like, is there some introduction and stuff? Yeah, you could speak at the at the beginning of the film. Yeah, it's my dream come true, but, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but I think we, we we have to we have to eight, eight. when the movie starts. We have to push ourselves. Yeah, in yeah I think and... take every opportunity, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have to check if I can do it, but I'll, I'll, I'll let's check in about that. You're not yeah. to say for the movie, but I hear it's really good. Actually, <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, might go with uh my buddy Gap. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, if you're there, you're speaking. You, yeah, you're, you're you're like that you, you said it first, my friend. <laughs> but I volunteer you. I have no problem with that. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. Um, I'm currently applying. I've submitted an application to have non-participate in a, uh, it's a cooperative artist group that APE was, again, one of the three um, uh, tenants in the building at 33 Holly. They also um, run the gallery downtown. Um, APE is putting the, so, so if you've been in the 33 Holly, there's a huge empty black room there that is going to be, there's a big part of the renovation. It's the largest room in the building. Um, it's going to be able to hold significant events. Um, it should be mostly complete at the end of construction. And um, APE's model um, for sustaining the space is to have a cohort of roughly a dozen um, cooperative members. And those cooperative members will have access to time inside of that space. Um, what that time looks like roughly is um, a full week during the year, um, two, two weekends during the year, and then four hours a week every week of the year. Um, in exchange, there's some participation requirements like um, uh, being involved in two potlucks, doing some skill shares, um, and uh, I think help, helping out at two events during the year. So a couple hours of like running a ticket booth or something like that. Um, they're also asking people for money to, to participate in this. So um, they're sort of trying to curate space and have people invest and pay for that the use of that space. Um, I, I'm not looking to, to pay money to participate in that. And what I'm looking to do is to barter. Um, you may have remembered that we when we installed the fiber infrastructure to the building is something we wanted that we wanted to get the other building partners involved in bartering time in their spaces for us to use. Because we don't have a large studio space that we can access, um, it's a great thing for us to barter for. And so this is the barter on the APE side. I'll also be asking um, the Center for the Arts for a barter. We've had previous conversations about it that were sort of put on hold um, as construction uh, started ramping up and as we got that grant. Um, so I'll be revisiting with them as well. Um, and so I filled out the application for APE. I've, I've met with some of the, the leadership over there as well about it. Um, they seem um, excited about the idea. And so we'll hear from them. Um, but that's going on. Um, there's a lot of different things we could use for that time. Uh, for instance, um, you know, we could, uh, if it was, if we have a full week in that space, it's possible we could uh, find someone who's shooting a, a fairly high end short film and have them shoot it inside of that space over the course of a week. We could bring membership in to observe or participate in that process. Um, we could also take some of that space and tie it into our production grants. So if someone uh, like, uh, uh, excuse me, applies for a production grant with us, not only could we resource them with money, but we could also resource them with that space in order to shoot. And it's large enough to build sets. It's large enough to, it's, it's practically a soundstage, mm -hmm. right? So um, we could also hold, if we wanted to do it, like, I don't want, I'm not suggesting we have a film festival again, but you could have a film festival with the weekend. Um, 
there's some other things we brainstormed, like having um, a weekend where we bring all the nonprofits in from the city and have them talk about their work and do a massive fundraiser, something like Giving Tuesday. There's, there are a lot of opportunities for us um, that could open up uh, when we had access to a space like that. Uh, so this and something like the Art Side Out, it feels like there's a lot of upcoming opportunities for NAM to do different things. Uh, do you want the board to participate in helping uh, staff plan that stuff? Um, in terms of the events, like if we're going to ha have a festival in there or something like that? Well, just, yeah, just because it seems like you've got a lot of different options here, there are. which is great. And but it's just like, do you want help planning those options? Which options you want to do? I don't want to possibly. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like, want to overstep, right? No, of course. Because you guys definitely. I think yes, have... we would want the help. I mean, okay. there's definitely a way. There's definitely ways the board can help. Mm -hmm. I like the, for instance, the fundraiser that we're talking about. Even mm -hmm. it provides a space where that fundraiser could happen. For as an example, but um, so like maybe forming a committee in the interest of those kinds of things yeah okay so yeah. yeah i think that we can find ways that the board can be helpful uh can we make a task for that at least put me on it to start thinking about that for next month what do you, what do you want to put, uh sure. figure out um like um event planning committee i'll say this like i think we're thinking about I'm certainly thinking about, and staff is having the conversation about really revisioning a lot of the stuff that we've done historically. So even Cinema Northampton, mm -hmm. you know, we could have in the in the in the courtyard at 33 Holly, we could we could curate if 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 a lot of if 500 people aren't coming out to a Cinema Northampton as frequently, maybe it's something that happens once a year, and maybe we do some more smaller screenings. We do some in the courtyard. We do some in, in neighborhoods. We do some in different spaces. Um, and, and Cinema Northampton looks different. We've always for, we've always talked about things in, in that context, and this is just an example, that we'd love to curate some more, um, I don't want to say artsy films, that's the wrong way, but smaller audience films that maybe film aficionados had more interest in. But when we program Cinema Northampton at Forbes Library, we're not going to show like Run Lola Run or something. Like we're not going to show something that's like has a narrow audience because we want to bring it. The whole idea of it is, this sort of celebration of as, as a community and yeah. being with a bunch of people watching a movie mm -hmm. and how that feels really good. This is a little bit different having a smaller event. So it's things like that. It's about restructuring the film sprint mm -hmm. and it's about look re-looking at all of these things yeah. and seeing what we can do. So that's a conversation I think that is going to take up a lot of the end of the year. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I think stuff like that it's great because that's the activity we need in Holy Street and it, it brings no to the to the board and active in the community, which uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, but this is using the space in the way it was intended, and that's great. And and you know the skill share side of it, which is a requirement of participating in the club, is actually something we're really excited about because our skill share would be training artists or art groups how to use equipment to record their own events, and that creates programming for us, and also is people using. You know, following it, it feeds right into the mission of the organization, which is to get support people in creating things. And so, you know, what is like considered part of our, you know, labor to join it is actually has a great return for us as well, at least in theory. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the strategy, at least, um, behind it. Um, We've begun scheduling slots for candidate statements for the Northampton 2023 municipal election. Um, we've notified all candidates through email. Uh, we've already started getting people who are scheduling their um, their their candidate statement. Um, what a candidate statement is is uh, this year it'll be a five, up to five minute statement. We put everyone in front of the same neutral background. We give everyone the same amount of time to record it. Um, it's very standardized. And um, and then we we bundle them all together and we we show them up to uh, two weeks before the election. We we black them out at, at that point. Um, it's something we did the last election cycle. We we've been doing it during, over most election cycles in the past number of years. Um, there's no give me the good lights though, right? What's the, <laughs> you, get, you, get the you get the you get the good lights. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, there's no primaries this year. 
in Northampton. So there's just a general election. What are you running for? Uh, school committee, yeah. uh, award for for re-election. Yeah. Oh, you have to do this every year. Every two, every, every two year. years. Yeah. Um. Um. So that started. That process has started. Uh, we should have those wrapped up. Um, by the end of September, those will be finished. And we'll start airing those. Those will air for about a month. Um, and we also anticipate naturally uh, uh, covering any debates or forums that occur around that as well. And possibly election day coverage. Um, <clears throat> we have a Comcast bill, just to make you aware. Um, I've been working on this Comcast bill for the past 18 months, <laughs> okay? I have had hours upon hours of conversations with Comcast about this bill. Oh, right. hmm. When we had the bill was paid or was no, it, the bill is not paid. There is no bill because <laughs> <laughs> the fi when we, we when we installed fiber in our space at Thirty Three Holly, oh we got a fiber migration number, and that signals to Comcast that we moved to fiber we're off the system, and. They never shut down our internet service. So the bill started building up. I mean, there's there's phone and television on this as well. The first conversation I had about this was a number of months later when they notified me about this, this past due payment. And um, I was getting on a plane actually, and I was in this long conversation with them and I agreed to pay over the phone our, our television and phone from that bill. That was That was almost two years ago, okay? <laughs> and so I've gone through the thing is about about dealing with Comcast as an organization is they have many siloed divisions. So there's a you know there might be a division that is in charge of shutting your service off. Then there's a there's a bill payment service, mm -hmm. and then there's like you know sale. So and none of these silos talk to each other. Mm -hmm. So 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 it's and and if you go to one they'll say well I could do that and you're right but I have this other person has to do this other thing first. And then you go to the other silo and they say, I could do that, but that person you were at before, they had to do this other thing first. And it's an endless cycle. And I've, I've gotten really deep inside of it. I, I really spent hours on this. And I've had people guarantee me that it's done. I've even gotten the personal phone number of the people who did our fiber install service and I called them on their cell phones. So it's still there, it's about $5,000. Our government rep, who's Eileen Leahy, which means she's she also is the person we interface with, a city interfaces with when we renew our contract, which that process will have to will be starting soon as well. Mm. Um, so she is on it as well. So she's an internal Comcast employee trying to work on this. You should bring this up with the in the next negotiations for yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a short film. film. And they have What's the film? short film, David and Goliath. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you know, because we're just after all, we're we're a Comcast customer as well for that stuff. And um, I'm just letting you know that's happening. And uh, oh, I'm sorry, oh, that's a nightmare. <laughs> it's really one thing they've said is, "Well, just pay it, and then then he won't refund your money to you." And I've said, <laughs> "Do you think I'm going to trust at this point? How long is that process going to be?" You know, so I'm I'm not paying this bill, and uh, that's where we are. I can give you credit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. We've been arranging for the screening of the first ever Catalyst Film Festival. This is a regional film festival for trans filmmakers. Um, it's gonna take place in Northampton at the Parlor Room on September 5th. So if you're around for that, that's cool too. Um, there would be space for us to get up and talk. I'll, I can get up and talk at that space as well. I'll be there. Um, it's gonna be about an hour and 15 minutes, the full program. There's some shorter and some longer stuff like between five and 25 minutes. Um, we're really happy to be helping host it. Um, they're talking about hosting it in various places around New England. I don't know how many places are, are showing it, but uh, but we are. Uh, I'm sorry, where, where and when? The Parlor Room, September 5th. Doors open at 7, film start at 7.30. There's a Q&A afterwards. Um, just some things, other things that have been happening. Uh, we're shooting performance today. Uh, that's going on as we meet. Uh, we shot some spots for the hot chocolate run. Last year, we lost our live stream for them, and we felt bad about it because of the barter uh, we made with them. And so we, we shot some of these spots for them uh, as a way of making that up to them. We provided support for the historic Northampton barn opening, um, a veteran show with Steve Connor. There's the film camp. So um, Tyler, who's in that edit suite right now, that's the film camp that's been going on over at Bombix. Um, they're going to be in our edit suites tomorrow. 
uh, and Center for New Americans is talking about hiring us to do some uh, various events for them. And last but not least, we started a conversation with the school department about um, providing help in transcoding uh, minutes of meet or transcoding meetings, tra uh, making transcripts of meetings, I should say. I should change that there. Making transcripts of meetings because the school committee is going through what is a possibly laborious process of, of, um, of you know, making sure that past official meeting minutes are correct. And so um, that can be pretty involved because the committees will want meetings and, and having to go through them minute by minute and work on them. So we're we're trying to see and we're and uh, Mike and I are going to talk about this after the meeting if the if the transcripting process, which is built into our closed captioning hardware system, can build transcripts, um, and what those transcripts can look like and uh, what kind of information can be easily gleaned from them, and if that's helpful for uh, the school department's work towards that. Thank you. Yeah. For sure. Um, just like a fun <laughs> There's only, I don't know, 250 meetings that don't have notes. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, listening to the to the how what how how big the task was, like uh, we we're happy to, to do anything we can to help you. Or I was gonna like overhear this <laughs> yeah. minutia of this nightmare. And there's yeah. automated processes that can I mean, we haven't like AI could be a tool. The the new the new superintendent um, was talking about a raised AI as a possibility, yeah. and I think that could be applied to a transcript we make and like find every notion of we were we were we made some transcripts of meetings as a test, and there's different formats you can get. You can also we're training the system theoretically for people's to identify people speaking, speaking. so they put a name in front of it. We didn't get that. We didn't. Our examples didn't do that yet. We tried updating the dictionary, and we're okay. not doing it correctly. But uh, you could maybe say find all the instances. I was thinking of uh, the word like motion or roll call or yeah. something like that, mm -hmm. and then it would, and then to insert like a like a carriage return yeah. a space, and mm -hmm. and then it would release. It would start formatting out things for you. It's just a question of whether scanning a, a readable document is quicker. But it, I think it might. Oh, yeah. And what the needs are, you know, you'll like the school committee will be able to identify and answer that question more than than I can answer that yeah. question. But I think there are ways we could. Are we still using Zoom for meetings, or yeah. is it? Uh, we are, but I mean, with the account being full now, like a lot of the recordings are either scattered or not being done for the non main yeah. meetings. So, like any of the subcommittee meetings, since the well, actually all the meetings, right? Because yeah, in your capture on YouTube. But like the Zoom yes. account for the city is at capacity, so like nothing's recording to the cloud. So then it's like, we, is, unless we just don't have premium. Or? We have no idea. We both tried to. The city. I I don't know where this is, but you know this is something that happened a number of months ago that the city yeah, account got full. And um, we had a conversation with the mayor, and and the mayor feels like they're they were working it out, and so. Um, I can I can obviously I'm always happy to talk to the mayor's office about that stuff. We you know it's not something that is in our control, nor should it. It definitely should not be in our control either. We don't want to have anything to do with controlling that um, because it's city information, and it becomes you know assigning it to us is a really not smart thing to do. I don't even think it's probably legal. But so, um, so we can advise on that. But I think yeah, it's right now the city I don't think can record. We're also city's also losing. Um, it's IT director. Right. So. Tony? Yeah. Where's he going? I, th I think he's. Really? Uh, he to be. Be. Oh. Uh, Maybe that's not public. <laughs> oh. I think that might be happening. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, no. Great. God, that's I great. Love Antonio. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, on camera, um, the Zoom is coming out with some new AI functionality that, uh -huh. that yeah. you might want to take a look at. That was yes. like it's literally yesterday. So that's cool. Um, and it might do some of that stuff or be implementing slash beta testing. So. Yeah, I mean, our challenge is just like there's so many meetings. And then if we have someone go through it and make notes, They've been like insufficient. So in the attorney general's office is like, this doesn't cut it. So you don't have to have things word for word, but in our case, it may be better just to have a transcript yeah. because it'll be faster than if yeah. you try to have someone summarize something 
that you know it's just like it could just be faster to get it yeah. done that way yeah yeah I, you know there's a lot of form there's probably you know when you pull up the program to to format the transcription there's probably 40 or 50 different formats so you know what i'd like to do is look at all of those yeah it's just about sitting down and kind of like gr grinding that out a little being like so i have a few to, for you to look at that i'll send Great. that i have and done and that's just a starting point where i know we could we could talk about okay <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah um that's my report oh I think we're setting a record, a record here for the longest director's report. It's, there's a lot of stuff going <laughs> on. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's a lot well, of things in motion. We can set the uh, record for this the shortest uh, high school report over here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, stop screen sharing, Alan. Look at the agenda. Yeah. I just stop participants from sharing. <laughs> Thanks. There we go. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, the high school report. Shortest high school report ever. Uh, Ellie and I met and uh, onboarded them mm -hmm. on on everything. So that's all that's all taken care of. Um, on the the only things that are we're getting ready for school, obviously. Um, and we are currently Tonio and I. <laughs> I'm probably um, totally mistaken on that. I have secured um 40 iMac donations from Smith, hopefully oh, wow. 20 MacBook Pros and 20 Dell computers. So um those that's something that happens every year. Um our they're contact get, they're getting rid of their old stuff. So they yeah so um so we get their their old stuff and we replenish and then the, all of those computers trickle down into different um into all the schools um and it's been an awesome awesome research we've gotten hundreds and hundreds of computers but on the on the on the North Haven Roman Media side uh we I want to set up a conversation to see we've had enough overflow where I'm comfortable pitching the idea of bring some of those computers over here because we've taken care of all the needs of, you know, science and math and anybody that kind of low-key put it out to the entire school slash the district and we and we get those computers out. So um, if we if we need computers, if we're using those computers, if we have established the strength and strength of the relationship with um, with the students like we want to this uh, this year, um, we we might may have some computers that we can bring over here as well. Cool. The end. <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, so we had a workshop that happened in July. Um, we got a lot done. I have, I think my link here is just to the uh, the agenda, which we didn't really follow very closely, so I don't even know if it's worth <laughs> worth opening. Um, but we basically have a, a a a working board policies document that has most of the stuff in it that we want to have in it it still isn't like really formatted very pretty but that's something that i'll just be working on over the next couple of months make it look a little nicer uh but we've got a lot of great info we've got stuff for like uh the we figured out uh stuff that happens throughout the year and what months that it's supposed to happen on uh which was really helpful um all sorts of different things it was good. I got an argument with Jeremy. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but yeah, I, I think it was a, a really successful workshop overall. Less board games than I would vote. But what was playing? We played Deception Murder in Hong Kong, which people didn't like. Oh. Is that what the fight was? Was that the fight was over? No, the fight was over. Something <laughs> else. <laughs> uh but um, and then we didn't have time for a second board game thing, no. so I couldn't redeem the board game section of it. But yeah, it was a good one. There was we, like it, there was energy there, and interest. But oh yeah, and and like I said, we got a ton of stuff done. I was really happy with how much we got accomplished in that. Um, did anyone have any thoughts about the uh, workshop for people who were there, which was um, Al, Jeremy, Florian, and Tim? Yeah, I thought it was awesome. I think that <laughs> the 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 kind of argument what they was alluding to <laughs> was the idea that we had a discussion about kind of the 
it, it, it started with talking about fundraisers and, and it opened up into kind of a discussion about the role of the board, the engagement of the board in events, what the overall mission for and vision for um, diversifying our, our different donor streams um, is. And it was, uh, we were looking initially at a, a events, which we, we still are, mm -hmm. um, but I kind of de <laughs> derailed things by saying, we don't necessarily need another event. We need to strengthen our, our participation and our pitches at the current events that we have. Yeah, so both of those are still there. Yeah, instead of concentrating on one big thing, we should figure, we should more create a structure for fundraising across the things we already do. Um, and the first step towards doing that was just having board members more involved in the stuff that was already going on, which uh, if anyone's been watching this recording, they would have noticed yeah. that's one of the things that we were trying to be more gung-ho to do. So, yeah. And we're still going to um, to be looking at at an event and, and, um, and seeing how we can incorporate that. At the very least, I think it sets a good blueprint for our annual meeting, which mm -hmm. we routinely kind of push down the road. We wig it a lot for the annual meeting. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm optimistic on that as well. Yeah. So that kind of thing. Um, any any comments from anybody else? I think my thoughts, like, it was great to have this. Uh, it, I, it would be great if we have it more often, if we have it twice a week. And I don't know if this is wishful thinking. <laughs> twice a week. Uh, twice a week. <laughs> oh, that's, wow. that's a lot of workshops. Uh, no, I think I think twice, twice a year going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't know. Know. Working, it, uh -huh. it would be yeah, like it, it's good. Uh, we're pushing for more activity on on this level, and it, it's part of it. And uh, yeah, I it was a good meeting. Like I I hope we can do this. Yeah. Cool. Um. All right. So to the next thing, gosh, we have so many things to get through. I'm going to try and blitz through a lot of stuff. Um, uh, in terms of that fundraising stuff, yeah, uh, I wanted to meet with Al and staff to talk about, to get their input on it and throw out some ideas with them uh, because we've been talking about it a lot as a board. And I, and as Al has pointed out, we should have more input from the staff, which makes perfect sense. So, uh, I just wanted to set a date for that and I would definitely be at it, but anyone else who can attend would also be great. Um, so the first, uh, you know, Mondays are generally a good day. I don't know, like if the target is to include as much board as possible, or I, I don't know if the target is that or to have, you're thinking about you doing this, but, um, but Mondays are a day where we are close. We work from home very typically. Okay. Um, and so, but we can come in and do a meeting like this either during the day or at night. Okay. Um, the next available Monday is the 11th um, or the 18th of September, if you're trying to book it soon. Um, uh, if so, what my goal is, is to just get input from the staff. Yeah. Kind of like how we just got a lot of board input at the workshop, right? I just want to get that like level of, well, maybe with less argument, but that level of, of input from the staff. And then we can start sort of yeah gelling together, uh, uh, a better plan with, with everybody's ideas going forward. Um, so, the 11th is the day before the board meeting. Yeah. That I was just thinking, so maybe the 11th makes more sense then because then oh. I can actually talk to the board about stuff that we discussed. Sure. Um, but, uh, but yeah, does anyone else want to, oh, and the evening would be better for me. What time is the, or like I said, in early, like how early could it be? In the how early could it be? It, um, it's tough because I'm driving from Springfield. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, five thirty or six. I can't really. It's hard for me to do earlier than that. Um. So you want to say six? Yeah. But yeah. So if anybody else wants to stop by to that, feel free. But it's you know. No I feel like you you're really interested in in the in in 
being involved in the organization. Like I'm more than happy to help out at the event. I don't think I need to be involved in the planning. Like, yeah, like, no, that's no, fine. Yeah. I don't know. Like, do you have to wish that a second board member is actively involved in the planning or you? That... I have a board or a no, I don't think it's just about the meeting. It's a question, what's the structure? Well, I think going efficient? forward, we will probably form a committee. A committee yeah. yeah. Uh, but I just want to get the the staff. And maybe that committee could, wait, can, does the committee have to be board members? Can the committee include staff? Yeah, we could have the staff. I and mean, we could just, that could be another way of approaching it. Sure. You know, my, my concern about having staff involved is if it's going to be a big event and it's sort of like, what could happen in a room if people is... Oh well, we'll just have these ten bands, and then like they'll they'll be like four stages, and then we'll also have like this other thing happening over here, plus this other thing simultaneously. And what it does is it may build this workload for staff that is maybe unrealistic. Well, exactly. Or, That's why I want to have them, you know. I think so. The process. It might be more helpful. I don't like they may have more insight when it comes time to actually when we know what the event is or looks like. <laughs> okay, so. If that's if that's what you prefer, my whole thing is I don't want to get caught in the thing that you were just describing, which is the board comes up with this big thing, yeah, and then we throw it onto the yeah, staff, yeah. which is why I want them in sooner. Right. And right. you can also get meta on it with which is what what are what do you envision would be the ideal situation for fundraising? Well, that's and the thing, right? In, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because because I, I think we're on the same. Yeah, because we talked about that so much at the workshop, right. and I want to be like, hey, staff, this is what we talked about as our our ideas for fundraising going forward does that make sense for for you folks do you so, want to do it we could also push it back and plan it more thoroughly if you want i'm fine with that or if you want to have a cursory conversation with them to check in you could do it before the board meeting on the 12th that would save you a trip oh that's true if they're around yeah okay like a five o'clock five thirty yeah. Yeah, let's let's do that. Because again, I don't want it to be like oh, a, yeah, a huge sure. thing. I, I just want to get some starter yeah. input before uh, we form the committee. I'll right? put that meeting in there and then that'll just be a check in. Sure. And then a, like a temperature taking and then they can be more involved. Like at least that'll be both worlds. Yeah. Bit. Okay. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Cool. And if they're remote Monday too, then they're not just coming for that one. Yeah. Time. That'll be nice for that. Uh -huh. Um, cool. Okay. Um, uh, well, next, I'm talking to, talking about send dates. <laughs> so, we, so that's going to be before the meeting. Which, yeah. yeah, which will be the uh, September twelfth. Yeah. Um, talking about send dates. Um, according to the calendar that we put together in the uh, board policy document, it is now time for us to set a date for the annual meeting. Um, now, as Al had discussed with us, he is not going to be around in December, so we are looking at a November date. Yeah, yeah I leave on the 29th of November. And usually what we've done in the past is that the board meeting like happens right before the annual meeting. So those things would be on the same night. So we could just go with the first tuesday of november like we would do or we could push it back a little farther the first or the second oh i'm sorry the second um my mistake uh or we could push it back a little farther especially if you know thanksgiving is the 20 serve, so we should oh that's the, true yeah the library is there. and the seventh is like that election day maybe the 14th so yeah either the 14th or the 28th which would be right before i leave <laughs> I think, that's the, the, the yeah. I think so too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at do you wanna say seven or seven thirty? The board meeting is usually starts at six. Yep. Do you wanna say that the annual meeting is seven thirty or seven? Should usually so usually our board meetings are only like an hour. <laughs> yeah, true. This is this this <laughs> that's the longest one I've ever been at. Yeah, no, this is there's so much stuff to cover uh today. Um so that's why this one has been going longer. But I think seven would probably be fine. Typically we can, you know, handle all our business in an hour. Like last time we did the the, the, the screening. Yeah, we did yes, at the parlor room. Tones, Mm -hmm. One last note for one of my students. Um, so there is obviously some planning we need to do for that, but just want to get the date down first. Okay. Okay. My proposal would be to show them the Lisa's document. Oh, yeah, oh, that'd be cool. If we can, if yeah, we can. Yeah, that's a question, but that would be. I'll, that'd be cool. I can actually show you. That would be cool. Melissa worked on the, on the documentary where she, it was a festival in Copenhagen with Werner Herzog. Oh, 
was one of the executive producers. So it's a good to see. The guy building the ark. Is that part of hers? I'm, I haven't seen it. Oh, the I trailer. Have, looked I have awesome, yeah. the trailer and it was fun people in the trailer. So yeah, I yeah. to see it. <laughs> Obviously with the personal connection it makes it even fun. But... It would then, be fun to see it, yeah. We can uh, also meet the baby. Yeah. Uh, that'd be cute. Um, okay. Uh, cool. So, yeah, and I think um, probably we'll we'll be we'll be doing a lot more planning for that. Dig into that next month. Yeah. Probably. Uh, okay. Then the nominating committee. This is in here because again the board policy document says that going forward in August the nominating committee would present at this meeting. Uh, although we are not actually presenting at this meeting because uh, Jeremy and I are the nominating committee and at last month's meeting, we discussed when the best time for us to present would be because Jeremy has a very busy August uh, and that is September. Uh, that still puts us on schedule for all the nomination stuff with the board meeting when it's, or with the annual meeting when it's gonna be. So that all should be fine, but just letting you know, nominating committee meeting Next year will be uh, this month in August, uh, but this year is getting pushed back a month. And I still want to hijack this point. Nominating committee, one input. We have, it came a little bit up in our, our monthly finance meeting. We have a lot of activity in the board. Uh, with the committees, there is a lot of crossover. The same people are getting in the committees. Yep. It, if we see the activity and there's any chance of expanding the board by two seats, with active members that would relieve like if we really like if the activity is really good at the moment and i hope mm -hmm. we can do this but there's only so much everyone can do sure it's a voluntary thing so it might make sense if we have enough candidates to say we want to expand the board by two people i assume that's a good start and then we can see where to go we have this you've brought this up before expanding we have board. talked about it there was like a little bit resistance but given like our situation i just wanted to bring it up again. yeah no i it it's i see where you're coming from with it i think that um that is yeah let's let's bring that back up after we see the interest of how many people want to be on like the board yeah. there's nothing we can do yeah but if we have enough candidates and there's some diversity and we can yeah. Because I think, because I think in terms of committees, because membership can be on committees or staff could be on committees and it doesn't have to just be board members. Um, we might, that might be an alternative is to, is to say like, hey, let's bring in some membership to be on committees, but that way we're not expanding the board. But, but yeah. We have to find a better way to communicate with members on a more regular Yes, way. totally. Um, so yeah, it presents its own plethora of problems but uh yeah we'll discuss that more uh in the future um okay up next we have the nom sponsorship of comedy cause is it comedy cause five it is comedy cause five. okay because it's five and then it says five minutes so i wasn't sure if five got yeah, typed yeah. twice i was just making sure <laughs> <That's right. laughs> um so this is basically um we've sponsored comedy cause i don't know if it's been every year but most years yeah, i think and so um so Tim raises an event that Tim can talk about. It's an event that Tim produces every year to raise money for veterans. And um, we've been a long time sponsor, as I said. So once Tim came on the board, uh, we sponsored it again last year. Um, Florian and I had a conversation about it after that. And just under the, under the terms of whether that was okay, just in terms of conflict of interest. Um, and so we're raising it again here. I think, you know, what I would say is there's a precedent of that this is something that we've supported in the past. And so we, we wouldn't be doing anything that we've ever done differently. Um, you know, it's, we're, I think it's being raised just because it's the right thing to have a conversation about. It's also the next item, which is a conflict of interest policy. Florian drafted a conflict of interest policy because we knew we would have this conflict or this conversation today. Um, it's not really read, ready to be vetted today, I don't think, my, in my opinion. No, but no, no, no. I like this was we wanted to have it there. I think we should push for it to have it with we were far beyond the seven days anyway. Like it's yeah, yeah. like it's a first input. We should have something like this. How do we make it happen? And there's two two texts here and what are the next steps? Are? Um I don't I also don't think and 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 Tim can speak to this, but like that Tim makes any money off of this. I think it's just he's raising money for this to for through the event. So uh, we come on as a sponsor. 
it's a $200 level. Um, and um, so I'm just raising that for the board to discuss and make a decision on and recommend to me how to move forward about that. Um, again, you know, we, we sponsor, there's different events we sponsor in the community historically. And this is one of them that we've, that we've done prior to Tim being on the board. Yes. Well, all right, can I say something about it? I mean, you know, thank you. Though. You made it sound <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I didn't even have to say nothing. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, it's not like one of my typical like comedy shows. I'm like, come on, come on. It's the fact that, you know, comedy call started as, you know, me being homeless in the community. I go back and give money to organizations that help me get back on my feet. Um, and like I said, NAM is always one of the today's NCTV. You know, always been a sponsor of it. And um, I understand that I'm on the board, but like I said, I'm not making any money with this. Realistically, half the time I'm losing money, but I just want to be able to give money to you know those organizations. And it's a community event. Um, um, it, 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 I think it reflects well on now, uh, and it's at, it's in Northampton at a, you know, uh, uh, at the Academy of Music where, you know, um, I feel like, you know, we can actually, you know, um, um, draw attention, you know, to not they some, you know, the positive attention that we want and we've been talking about and things like that, um, because we're, you know, it's supposed to be about community, community, and getting the community involved. And I feel like this is one of the events that that do that. Yeah, I can yeah, I can speak to it. Like this is a, it's a beautiful event. I, I got to enjoy it last year. I'm for sure going this year again, and I highly recommend everyone to go. Uh, I think one of the major things we wouldn't even discuss it if Tim weren't on the board. He's doing the work yeah. on the board, and just because he's on the board, it's it's an it could be an issue. So I think it's important to clear it with the board, but like it shouldn't be penalized for being on the board. Uh, for some great work it does for many, many years. And, yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, I, I agree with all of you. And it doesn't sound like there's a conflict. But, you know, in terms of, like, a, a policy, if there's, you know, there's a number of ways to deal with it. You could, you know, anyone who may have a conflict can just declare it. If the policy says then it goes to whoever, the chair of the board or whoever, and then there could be other thresholds, like it has to be over a certain amount to even be like looked at, like you know, like two hundred dollars. You never like we, the the, yeah. the the goes to the next one. Yeah. At the moment, we have nothing in yeah. this regard of the policy, so it should be on there to yeah. just declare. And I, I also didn't think it would cause a problem, but it should be like, yeah. transparent in this way that it's just and it sets an example. Uh. I'm sorry, did you want to say anything? No, I'm just saying that it, I like that. I think that it's a it's a smart thing to to review. It also extends really to my involvement and my participation too, if you think about it, because we're we're constantly getting certain things that we need for the, you know, the for the classroom. I again don't don't benefit at all aside from the you know the equipment that we that we need. Um, but yeah, just having an outline of that is just, it's, it's a good thing to have. And transparency is basically where it's at. Totally. So, uh, Ellie, if you have any comments, let us know. <laughs> just want to make sure everybody has a chance for input. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I definitely think we should, uh, sponsor it again. And yeah, I'm just going to echo what everyone else has said. Sounds like a great event. We should definitely sponsor it, but I think, um, Florian bringing to our attention that we didn't have anything in there for conflict of interest means we probably should put something in there. It, it would be a good idea. Um, now, I haven't gotten to look over the document you wrote up in detail because you sent it out very recently. <laughs> well, <laughs> Thanks. <wait> <laughs> Hours ago. <laughs> but, uh, I'd, I'd love to, you know, after I sign up for board source, to send out um, examples. That, yeah, that would be cool. Sure. Um, also, so you sent that, did you send that to everybody? The link to I sent it to you to, to eventually share it. Okay. Like it was not like I, let's, we can discuss the format. What's sure. It'll, it'll, uh, created that counter proposal or whatever. Like it, I'm not, I took it from another organization. Yeah, so it's, it's the same thing. I think we should align how detailed we want it and mm -hmm. stuff like that. 
maybe let's look at it next time. Yeah, I mean, I like the idea of just sharing it with the board so people can all look over it. But if you want Al and I to look over it first before doing that, that's also fine. Um, no, that was not the intent. It was really just for sharing today on okay. the screen uh, that you have it. And I, like, I wanted to avoid that everyone has to look at it before. <laughs> sure, that's, that's fine. fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we'll we'll talk some more about that next time. But uh, cool. All right. Okay, but then I move a motion to the. I think we should still vote on on the decision uh, to uh, sponsor comedy cause five. Second. And everyone should go there as well. Okay, so we got a second from okay, Michael. Yeah, uh, yeah. All those in favor of Nam sponsoring comedy cause. Or, I'm sorry. Co yeah, comedy cause five. I'm not sure. Hi. All right. Hi, Hi. Cool. Uh, all right. And uh, let's see here. That's, we've, we've, we're just about to the end. We've, we've pretty much made it. Um, <laughs> the last thing is just uh, we have a document for um, uh, board contact information. And Ellie, because you're new, I just want to make sure you get your information into that document. Um, so yeah, don't say what any of it is because you're being recorded. Uh, uh, Al, did you, so I, I copied over the, the Excel documents. into the 2023 folder. Okay. Yeah. I made a copy of the one from 2022. Oh, the copy it, of? Yeah. It says copy of. Yeah. yeah it yeah. does because I haven't renamed it yet, but I figured we could Al? edit that one. Yeah. yeah. I've got it right here. I just made a new tab in it so that it's got, um, because I just don't want to lose the old information. I know, I know it doesn't lose it anyway because Google tracks it, but yeah. it's just nice to like, um, yeah. Well, yeah, that was why I, I figured I should make a copy of it so we don't have to worry about it. Um, but, so this is your idea. Actually, if you want to put yeah. your stuff in here. I didn't have Ellie here. So yeah, just make sure you get all, all your stuff in there so we can uh, contact you if need be. Um, one of the things that uh, we also talked about during the workshop was uh, sending out reminders of the board meetings via text. Um, I sent one to, to Tim, not knowing he had already said yes to be able to go to the board meeting. Um, but uh, I'm going to try to get better about um, mass texting everyone. How wonderful. Feel free. <laughs> so uh, just just as reminders for, for stuff going Thank forward. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, so having all that information is important, but. Uh, I think that's it. And we only were 23 minutes over our normal hour time. So it's really not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's I actually pretty still pretty good for a board meeting. Yeah. I'm going to reclaim my time. Yeah, yeah there you go. You're going to reclaim that 23 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, he was there, reclaim my time. You're going to leave. <laughs> okay. But uh, anything else anybody wanted to bring up? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Because um, I haven't got an answer. So I might as well just bring it out like public. I'm still wanting to uh, answer on on uh, using the license. Oh um, yes, I thought Dave got in touch with you about the Adobe license. No, I, I didn't get I didn't get anything. Yes, you can. Okay. We're going to set you over this. Okay. Wait, just for do I have a memory? What were you talking about? Um, I because I can't get here like on a week. The, the schedule, uh, the schedule for now doesn't work for me. Yeah, the way yeah, I work. for sure, for sure. So, um, you know, like I uh, shoot and I try to edit stuff. I don't, I can't make it here to edit. Oh yeah, yeah, things like that. So I was saying, can I use the you know the license so I can edit, so I can yeah. do something with the stuff yeah. I shoot rather oh, than you, just just you keep it on my memory card until I'm like, you know what, I don't need this. Yeah, 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 it's outdated or this is you know whatever. So I got like ten memory cards full of stuff, and I, I don't like drone for anything, and I just don't. Yeah, I, I can't even been able to do anything with it. Yeah, got you. Yeah, you're all set for that. And is that a Premiere Pro? Are you talking about Premiere Pro? Yes. So Do you have... No, you're, you're looking for Lightroom and Photoshop, no? Yeah, we well, can. right. Well, I got oh. Photoshop. I do have the Photoshop. The, the CS Suite. Yeah. Suite, yeah. Should I just do it right now? I can I can literally do it right now. Sure. Yeah. Gotcha. So, they, the, so the way that this, to kind of fill everybody in, 
We have 500 licenses. Those licenses used to. Do you want to just take care of it after the meeting, then? Yeah. 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 Yeah.